Hey guys, Marley here and welcome back to another video. I know that I have been gone for a week and that is because I was visiting family in Texas. I am so sorry. Um, I went to go visit my family. It was super fun. We were obviously very safe, wore our mask, quarantined in my mom's house so there was no danger of spreading the Rona. But I did get to see my family which was super amazing and I had planned to upload this video in the middle of the week. But I got there and quickly realized that my mom's internet could not handle even the uploading of videos. So that didn't happen. But I am super glad to be back with you guys. Today I am working. I have been creating a Disney save file in my own time for a while now. Um, I've done like the whole village of Montanui. I've done this build. I've done a few of the castles. So I also did that guy from Ratatouille's apartment um, because you know I wanted to. So I have been working on this in my own time, and this is one of the bil builds from that save file, as well as the really quick create a sim for Nani and Lilo. And if you haven't found out by now, because I haven't said it yet, we are building the Lilo and Stitch house. Um, I really wanted to build it before the alien thing moved in, but the house wasn't really recognizable without that big thing on the top. But you'll notice that um, there are no aliens that live here. There are no aliens in the family. They have a dog named Stitch, and um, I just realized we actually have aliens in the Sims 4, so I guess you could add them in. And there is an extra bedroom for them, but you'll have to figure out how to get a ladder going there. Okay guys, sorry, I just had to pause the video because I splashed cranberry juice right into my eye. It was horrible, my eye is burning, <laughs> but I think I cleaned it uh, okay. Anyway, what I was saying was that you'll have to find a way to get a ladder going up there. It is a tunnel that connects to the house, so you technically could, or... I mean, you could just have your Sims teleport if you wanted to add the aliens into this family, Jumbo and Cleeklo. Um, also, sorry if you can hear my dog. She just ran in here and decided to act crazy, even though she's been good all day. I am going to finish this video up and take her outside. She stayed the whole week with my boyfriend's mom, um, and, you know, she is very happy to see me. So, she's very much just been, like, in my face, wanting to play wanting to hang out. She also, while I was gone, got a little bobo at the dog park. So sad for my baby. Um, but I'm going to try to take her to the vet this week because it's kind of nasty. We've been putting medicine on it. I think it's a hot spot. My old poodle used to get hot spots, which are like these things if the fur stays wet for too long, you know, they'll, their skin will start to like get a little infection on it. And then, you know, take them to the vet and they'll give you some medicine. But anyway, um, this weekend I had so much fun. I went, and again, all of this was social distance. All of this was just with my family on, like, my family's property. So there was no, like, going out and breaking rules, okay? So before I tell this story, know that. Um, but we did. We got to drive to the beach. We social distanced. We were alone. So I got to spend a few days there. I got to see my new baby niece who was just born a few months ago. She is so tiny and cute, guys. She's like the size of a peanut. And I got to spend a whole day with her and like hold her and everyone else went to the beach and I just stayed home and like held the baby. So that's my dream if you know me. Um, and I just got to like, I got to take my boyfriend for the first time. So my boyfriend is a New Yorker. He was born and raised in New York and obviously I'm from Texas, but I live in New York now. And while we were there, um, the very first thing that happened that was so adorable is that we were driving from the airport to my mom's house and he saw some cows in a pasture and he said, are those wild? And I swear it was so cute. It was so cute and so funny um, because he had always, he had never seen like a cow in a pasture before. And I guess I had never like realized that people didn't know what that was. So it was very cute. Also, you can see now, see I'm adding in the, um, the little like spaceship bit and I don't put anything in there. But again, if you wanted to put stuff in there yourself, you could. And you could give them um, Jumbo and Cleekly bedrooms and like add it in. I just didn't because I just wanted it to be like the house, the beginning of the movie, like pre, like not from the TV show, but from the beginning of the movie. So pre the aliens moving in. And I don't think that that bit gets added until much later when they do move in in the TV show. But again, the house wasn't very recognizable. 
I also realized that this house design is really strange. There's this, 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 um, this bedroom I think is not supposed to be a full story up. I think it's supposed to be like a half C, like a little split level. And so putting it a full story up made everything kind of weird. And there is a ladder to get in that room. I originally wanted to make Lilo a toddler because I think that even though she acts really old, the toddlers in The Sims 4 look more how she looks but I had to put a ladder going into her loft room because stairs wouldn't fit where they were supposed to. So uh, basically a toddler wouldn't have been able to get up there unless you were just gonna teleport her every time. I'm also creating, I know that we can do split level stairs now, but I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted. So I'm doing like a fake, like move a foundation down and then make um, like L shaped stairs like we used to do before we got the ability. I used a lot of these like roof pieces that connect, you can see them like above the door and then I'll put some on all of these columns and I feel like it added a really nice touch to making it look like the movie. I was also super upset I couldn't add columns under that fence, um, under that like second, that level of landing between the stairs. I couldn't add columns there so I think I just put some plants under it to try to hide the fact. Also, um, so there is like some terrain editing. This might be, this might be why it's, it's a weird shape in the movie. So there's some terrain manipulation to where Lilo's room is like on a hill. So it wouldn't actually just be like floating like that, I think. But I just didn't feel like it. So instead of doing that, I added a bunch of greenery and kind of made, ooh, that's a nice, a pretty shot of the whole house there. I wonder why I was paused. What was I doing? Probably packing. Um, and I just added a bunch of greenery underneath so that it would hopefully distract from the fact that I didn't actually do the terrain editing. But, you know, it is what it is. People don't watch me for perfect builds. They watch me for chaotic content and animal noises and weirdness. So, if you're new here and you thought that this build would be actually good, you should just have lower expectations because it's just not how it works. But I am pretty like, it, it's okay. It's okay, Bella. Um, And Lilo's bedroom in the movie has some split leveling that happens that obviously I couldn't do split leveling up there. The only way we can do split leveling is like that trick with foundations. So it doesn't in my build. I kind of, I tried to make it similar to how it is in the movie, but I also just made it a functioning kid's room as well. Like in the movie, there's a hallway, like the proportions are just like really weird because it's a cartoon obviously. So how it looks on the outside and then the proportions on the inside don't exactly match up. Even though the rest of the house, they matched up pretty well. But for this one thing, they didn't really match up. So I just couldn't do it. And I was trying to build this before I got to the airport. Um, and we ended up being late. We ended up getting there like 30 minutes before the flight took off. So at some point I just like kind of was like, oh, I just gotta do something uh, and then that's what I did. Um, in here, I'm really proud of this room though. So I would say that this living room and kitchen are the most movie accurate pieces in the build. This build also does use a lot of the packs as well as if I ever release the save file, pretty much every build uses all of the packs um, because I have all of the packs and I know not everyone does, but it makes it so much easier when you're trying to recreate something to actually recreate it with like stuff that matches instead of trying to make the base game work. Um, and I'm not even sorry about it. I mean, I kind of am. I'm having a hard time talking today, guys. I have to go to the doctor to get tested for coronavirus after this because because um, I was in Texas, obviously. So when you come back in New York, you have to get tested. And even though I wasn't like going out in Texas or like breaking any of the rules or anything, I'm a little nervous about this test. I'm not sure I really want to do it. So I'm just kind of in my own head and being like a little nervous. Also, look, I raised up those pillows to like sit on top of that little like ottoman seat thing they have in the movie. I thought that was really creative. Okay, you guys may have just heard a bus stop outside my house. Jeez, why can I never not have background noise? All of my videos have background noise. Um... Oh, also, that Eagle Lifestyle TV was perfect. That's literally the TV they have in the movie. I think that this room gets really, really close to what they actually have. It just has less family pictures. Originally, I wanted to try to create Lilo's parents and also get Nani and, like, David and try to, like, take family pictures and then hang them on the walls. But, as I said, I was kind of rushing to get this done, so... By the time it would have been time to do that, there was just no time left, and I had to just give up on that plan. Um, and then the kitchen also looks pretty similar to the movie. There are a lot of screenshots from the movie and the TV show of them sitting in the kitchen, so you can really get a good idea. But I think overall, the whole house just needs to be messy. That's kind of the vibe, you know, because they're telling that story of, like, Nani having her little sister and 
trying to like keep her from getting taken by CPS. And so it's this whole thing of like, they're a mess. The whole family is a mess. And I think that I captured those vibes really well. It's also supposed to feel kind of cramped, even though it's a really big house, which was a little hard to do. Um, some of these frames are a little laggy watching it back now that I'm doing the voiceover, and I'm not sure why. If you guys know how I could change my Streamlabs OBS settings to record better, or I tried to use regular OBS, but it won't let me um, window record. It'll only let me screen record if I want to get any kind of usable footage. Which is really annoying because obviously like I have things on screen that I'm looking at. I have like my reference pictures and it makes it really difficult to kind of switch between those if they're all going up on the screen all the time. But let me know guys. If any of you guys make videos, please let me know how you feel. Oh, another thing that happened in Texas. We went to the farm. Um, mm, actually, sorry, I just took a sip of uh, cranberry juice. I just thought of something even more exciting to tell you guys. I got The Sims 3. So be prepared. I think I'm going to record today a video of me um, playing The Sims 3 for the first time. I've never played it on PC. I used to play The Sims on PlayStation when I was younger. So all the like the first games, I don't know. I didn't play The Sims 1. I may have played The Sims 2 like a tiny bit. I mean, I was born in the year 2000. So I was very young. But I, may, I think I played The Sims 2 like a little bit. Um, but then The Sims 3, I played on... PlayStation and Xbox quite a lot so I never got to play the real version of the game though but I bought the Sims 3 complete collection um, I want to download some CC because everything is ugly in that game if you guys know on Twitter I constantly rant about how much I hate the way The Sims 3 looks I just think that it's the ugliest game yet like I think The Sims 2 looks objectively better than The Sims 3 also, guys, I saw the rumors while I was gone that there might be a Star Wars expansion pack. That's absolutely disgusting. I don't know who let this happen, and I'm upset about it. Um, so I think we all need to protest, and we need to go outside of the game developers' houses and tell them not to give us an expansion pack for a movie franchise. So annoying. They could have done, like, a Jedi... Like, they could do... Okay, here's why I'd be okay with it. So... We got spellcasters, right? And there are some things that are kind of like Harry Potter-esque. I'd be okay if they used those properties and just made like a Jedi expansion pack or whatever, but didn't specifically theme it to Star Wars, but just let you have like that new vice state and then maybe a world that was like vaguely themed around the Star Wars world. I'd be okay with that. But doing a straight up Star Wars pack where I have to actually learn things about Star Wars to be able to make videos on it, I don't want to do it. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. Um, I, Well, I've only ever seen one of them, and it was the first newer movie that they made recently, and I watched it on a cruise ship. So that could be why I don't like it. Um, and I never watched another one. I've never seen any of the originals. Please don't kill me in the comments. But yeah, never seen Star Wars. It's just not really been my thing. I really liked it as a kid. Like, I really liked Harry Potter. Sorry, I know we hate J.K. Rowling. But when I was seven, I didn't know anything about that. Um, I really liked Harry Potter. I really liked this author called Margaret Peterson Haddix. And she wrote kind of creepy books. She wrote my favorite book, which was called... Um, dang, I can't remember. Oh, The Old Willis Place. No, that wasn't Haddix. Was it? It might have been. The Old Willis Place was my favorite book. She also wrote the series of books that were about um, how the government limits the number of children you could have to three children or to two children. And then there's a bunch of like secret third children by the rich and elite people. And they stand together and have an uprising. And they're like, we deserve to exist. It was a great, it was a great book series. I actually bought that book series for one of my, um, my little friends, Paisley, who is eight or nine now. Ooh, she watches this, she's gonna kill me. She's eight or nine now, and um, I bought her that book series. I'm very excited for her to read it because it was my favorite when I was a kid. So if you guys read that series, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll make a build based on that series. They never made a movie based on that, right? They should've. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called um, The Shadow Children. That's what it's called. And then in one of them, they like run away and then someone gets shot and then and the last one, they, like, take over this governor's mansion, and they they take over, and they eat eggs, and then they, like, rule the world, basically. I don't know. It's a good book series. I might reread it in adulthood, even though they're really children's books. I read them in elementary school, so they're definitely children's books, but I might reread them for the fun of it. 
um, and turn them into a movie script and try to sell it. So that's the plan right now. Um, now you can see I told you guys, oh, I did add a little car under there because they always have a car under there. I can never find the debug car, so I still size up toy cars even though we have better looking cars now because I'm lazy and the debug cars are always missing. And like I said, I added some greenery to try to like recreate that effect. Um, but now we're going into create a sim and I just left this part in because I thought it would be cool to see what I did. Basically, it's I just made them how I think they would look in real life because they are very, very cartoonified. Um, and so they, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. They're very cartoonified and it doesn't translate in The Sims too well. So I just translated it into what I think they would look like in real life. So if this is different than your interpretation, that's cool. We don't have to fight about it. You can like what you like and I can like what I like and we'll all be okay. Right, friends? Um, but yeah, they do have like those little like cute like button noses and so I definitely wanted that. Um, and then just like black hair and like Nani's eyes. I noticed like looking at reference pictures are particularly angled inwards. Um, and I made her thick. I, I tried, I tried. I think I even thickened her thighs out even more because in the movie she is a thick goyle. Um, okay guys, but we are coming to the end of this. Thank you so much for watching. I have missed you guys so much. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see next, whether it be Minecraft, The Sims 3 all in one, Eco Lifestyle, more speed build, custom content, anything. Leave me a comment down below if you liked this video. If you didn't and you think that I'm a big old piece of shit, you can tell me that too. I love constructive criticism and I hope that I can see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.